around the store. She'll add products to her shopping basket until she's ready to pay for them. The shopping cart or shopping basket on your e-commerce site serves the same function. It gives a shopper a place to collect the items until they're ready to make the purchase. Okay, so one important step on the road to making a sale is clicking add to cart. But what happens next? After a shopper clicks, will she remain on the same page? Well, there are a few possibilities. One is that as soon as the shopper clicks add to cart, he or she is taken to the checkout page. While some sites do work this way, it isn't necessarily the best solution because it takes your shopper away from your store. What if they want to shop for additional items? These days, it's becoming increasingly popular not to take shoppers directly to the checkout. So here's the challenge. If shoppers click the Add to Cart button and stay on the same page, how can you let them know that something happened? After all, if they click and nothing changes, they're likely to think that the site isn't working properly. Maybe even the item wasn't added to the cart. Let's see how a few different e-commerce sites handle this issue. Here we are, shoe shopping. Let's add this pair to the shopping cart. We'll just select a color, a size, and here we go. So what happens is this. A window opens giving the shopper the option whether to continue shopping or proceed to checkout. Where to go isn't decided for the shopper. Notice that other shoes that the shopper might like are displayed. That could lead to additional sales. Let's move on to another example. This is the product page for a girl's jacket. After choosing a color and a size, I'll click add to cart. A message appears at the top of the page indicating that the girl's rugby hoodie was added. The message remains on the screen for about five seconds, then disappears. If you use this method, make sure that the message is noticeable to the customer. If the product page is very busy and colorful and you add a small message, it could go unnoticed. Moving on. Here's some gloves. Let's add them to the shopping cart. In this case, a separate window opens up. It has the advantage of standing out a lot more than the message in the previous example. It gives the shopper one option, to proceed to the shopping bag with the view my bag button. This window, as opposed to the one we saw before with the shoes, closes automatically. Here's another site. They take a different approach. This site makes it really fun to add an item to their cart. Have a look what happens when I click to purchase this cushion. An animation shows it going into the shopping cart. Nice. Animations are another way to illustrate that the item has been added. This website also does a nice job. Check it out. Let's just select a color and a size. Click to add to basket. Rather than a window opening up and hiding what's underneath, this opens on the side and remains open until the shopper goes to another page or closes it. It has nice big links to the shopping cart and to continue shopping, information about the product, and if the shopper has put more than one item in the shopping basket. They get a subtotal of all the items. This is a very convenient feature. All in all, this works well. Let's take a look at one last site. We'll add this lamp to our shopping cart. In this case, a separate sidebar opens up with all the necessary information. It's a novel way to show a customer that the product was added to the cart. But it's more than that. It's actually a mini cart. Let's add another item so you can see how it works. I'll go to the gifts and accessories and choose one of these. We'll add it to the shopping bag. Notice, I already received a subtotal of the items. Then, when I click to proceed to purchase, we go directly to the checkout page, not to a shopping cart page. The window on the side, the mini cart, takes the place of the shopping cart page. It's not an addition to it. So as you can see, there are lots of good ways to make it clear that the Add to Cart button is functioning. You can open a window over the product page or on the side. You could display a short message on the product page. Just make sure that it's noticeable. Or you could use an animation that shows the product flying into the cart. The important thing is that the customer understands that the product was added. Good luck.